Good morning. I'm dressed for golf. I'm actually going out to play. It's the 28th of January. This will be the first time I've been to the golf course to actually play in two months since the 24th of November. Now the next video you're going to see is at a very, very cheap golf course. Now when I was booked up for Chiang Mai, I had the hotel booked. I had all my golf booked at good golf courses all my tea times books it was all sorted and then this guy says well I can't really afford that and we ended up going where I really didn't want to go we had six rounds of golf Asian and the rest we were going to play with golf bars trouble with the golf bar is you don't get a choice over where you go or what time you play so this was probably one of the cheapest courses in Thailand the green fee was less than £20. We teed off at about half past 12, which isn't good really. It's not the right time of day to be playing golf out there for a variety of different reasons. Now the course doesn't look too bad on screen, but it was in very poor shape. The greens were very slow and very bumpy. Had a few issues during the round. First we had a guy walking and that's fine there's absolutely nothing wrong with walking and having your caddy pull a little trolley as you go around the course but as soon as we got away from the clubhouse out of sight he was trying to get a lift on the back of everyone's golf cart and of course that is not permitted it's not permitted in thailand it's not permitted in england i bet it's not permitted anywhere for you to stand on the back step so he was told to get off my caddy told him to get off and I said, if you want a golf cart, they're in the pro shop, 600 baht, £13.50. And the caddies really don't like it. There's nothing wrong with making your caddy walk and pull a trolley. But there is something wrong when you say, well, I don't want to walk. I'm going to ride on the back of this other guy's golf cart. The caddies don't like it. The other issue was he was a very short hitter. And if he hit a bad one, it'd only go about 100 yards. So he'd hit his first shot and he'd hit his second shot. And then I'd dash out into the fairway to hit my shot while he's still walking up. And it's like, it's not your turn, it's my turn. So he was one of those. And also around the greens, if you were getting, if you know, you get to your ball and you're taking a few practice strokes, getting ready to chip, then he'd tell you off, he'd say, you know, it's not your turn to go. So there were some issues with that. Um, I'm not going to tell you everything that happened because then you probably wouldn't bother watching the video. But it's worth watching all the same. So after that, got back to the golf bar very late at night. Uh, I scratched all my entries in their diary for joining them to play golf at shitty golf courses got back to the hotel eventually you see out there not all streets have got pavements so down both sides of the street you've got a million scooters parked you've got two lanes of traffic you've got scooters weaving in and out you've got pedestrians weaving in and out and there you are with a golf bag across your bag trying to walk through all this through gaps like this and walk side so anyway, I got back to the hotel, I fired off an email to Golf Asian, can you get me any more golf this late in the day for my third week? Now I had one round already booked with them on the Tuesday at Chi Chan. And over the weekend, they tried to sort some golf out for me. So on the Monday, I got my th third round at Lam Shabang. good. On the Wednesday, I played Khao Kiao. Now, I was supposed to play with a couple of guys at Khao Kiao, and then we actually met at the starter's hut, but we weren't aware that we were playing together, and I think the starter sent them off to one tee, and they sent me off to a different tee, and so we didn't get to play together. Thursday was St Andrews 2000, which was... Ugh, I really didn't want to go there, but I didn't have any choice. It, it was either play golf at St Andrews, on a rubbish golf course or not play at all. And then Friday I was at Burapa, we played A and B, and the two guys I was supposed to play with at Cow Cow, I played with them this time. And they were absolutely wonderful company. I wish I had played with them the entire 
three weeks, it, it would have put a, an entirely different flavour on the holiday. In fact, it would have been a holiday rather than a bit of a chore. Now, I didn't include the guy who came with me in my additional plans. I left him to go and play with the golf bars. And, well as being a pain in the arse on the golf course, I didn't see him after the first week. Or the first six days. You know, he was there for 21 days and I didn't, outside the golf course, I didn't see him at all. See, I, I come back from the golf course, I empty this thing into the laptop, I've got batteries to charge um, in the afternoon, I get onto uh, YouTube, I answer people's comments, I watch a couple of videos, and as soon as the batteries are charged, then I can go out and I can do other things. So I might take some laundry, or pick up some laundry, go and change some money, go shopping, whatever it is that I want to do. And then every evening at half past seven, out the front of the hotel, into the bar opposite the hotel, have a couple of drinks, decide where I want to eat, what I want to, <laughs> what I want to eat and where I want to eat it, and then go out across the city and, and go out for the evening. So he obviously took this information, it was after our fourth round at Rolling Hills, so it was after that first week was over, he obviously thought, well, if he's going out at half past seven every night, I'm going to go out at half past six. So for whatever reason, he'd chosen to go in alone. So that's why I didn't include him in my plans for the fight, for adding on extra golf with Golf Asian. And of course, because it was all organised at the last minute, it was all a bit higgledy-piggledy. In fact, the round at Lam Shebang, I think I got there about 10 minutes before my tea time. Dumped my stuff in the locker, went out to the caddy, steamed out to the first tee. No warm-up, didn't even have a four-foot putt. So, um, enjoy the next video. Now, I've always said you can do Thailand on the cheap, and you can. You really can do Thailand on the cheap, but you really shouldn't. So compare the difference of this course and everything that goes on with the more expensive courses and you'll see why I go to the more expensive courses. See you on Friday. Ta-ra. I wonder how well I'll play today. Horribly, I expect. <laughs>